students today we are going to know about a new concept that is trigonometric identities so first of all you have to know what is trigonometric identities so before studying this topic or concept i have to recall what we have done in our previous class especially we have learned in our previous class about the trigonometric ratios of uh, complementary angles and we have learned six new formula that uh, sin 90 minus theta is equal to cos theta cos 90 minus theta is equal to sin theta tan 90 minus theta is equal to cot theta cot 90 minus theta is equal to tan theta sec 90 minus theta is equal to cosec theta and cosec 90 minus theta is equal to sec theta and also we have used this one in exercise 8.3 so today we are going to know trigonometric identities an equation involving trigonometric ratios of angle is called a trigonometric identity suppose you are getting an equation which includes trigonometric ratios means which includes the terms of trigonometric ratios then this equation is called trigonometric identity if it is true for all values of angle or angles involved so we'll have three in your class 10 we have we'll have three trigonometric identities cos square plus sin square is equal to 1 or we can say that sin square plus cos square is equal to 1 1 plus tan square is equal to sec square or sec square minus tan square is equal to 1 cot square plus 1 is equal to cosec square or cosec square minus cot square is equal to 1 what are three criteria sorry three identities now we will have symmetrical proof in your in your in your textbook about these identities i will solve i will give you this one number one the five five identity let's see first one we have sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one okay for this let abc be right triangle right angle triangle in which angle b is 90 okay see abc is right angle triangle angle b is 90 clear i maybe you have thinking you are thinking that i have written a theta and in the identity of what i have shown you are giving a a and theta is same they are taking a as a good angle i am taking here theta as a good angle so here suppose the measurement of angle c is theta and theta is a good angle so if you use pythagoras theorem then you will get a c square is equal to a b square plus b c square yes okay after this c this is simple logic and technique or technique c you are having sin square theta means what is the ratio of sin p by h and what is the ratio of cos b by h both have denominator as hypot denominator is what hypotenuse means se so divide is term by hypotenuse square so sc square so divided by c square ab square divided by c square bc square divided by sc square now sc square sc square what you will get one and this one you can write ab by sc whole square this one you can write bc by sc whole square now see according to this angle angle c ab by ac means what according to this angle this is a perpendicular and this is a hypotenuse means p by is then in the place of ab by ac what you can write sin theta similarly in the place of bc by ac you can write cos theta so sin theta whole square means sin square theta cos theta whole square means cos square theta so we get sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 clear because sin theta is equal to ab by ac and cos theta is equal to bc by ac so for the other question number 2 and question number 3 sec square theta minus tan square theta is question number 2 means actually identity number 2 and identity number 3 sec square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1 cos square theta minus cos square theta is equal to 1 you can prove yourself this is homework okay question number 2 and question number 3 is your homework so this one you first find out sec theta what is the ratio of sec theta a is by b and tan theta p by b means you have to divide now by base each term divided by base square now what we have done here hypotenuse square because of this so you can divide like this way for this one also you find out this two are your homework next from this relation means from this equation we can get so many relations like that like sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 if you transfer cos square theta on the right hand side you will get 1 minus cos square theta now if you take out the square you will get all root over 1 minus cos square theta next number 4 now if you transfer sin square theta on the right, right hand side then you will get 1 minus sin square theta then cos theta is equal to what root over 1 minus sin square theta ok so for, this is for identity 1 you may find out another relations also 
So next number six, suppose you are having six is k theta minus ten is k theta is equal to one. This is the second identity. For this also, if you transport ten minus ten is k theta on the right hand side, it will become plus ten is k theta. So one plus ten is k theta. If you take out the square, then sec is k theta, sec theta is equal to root over one plus ten is k theta. Now if you transfer this one on the left hand side, then sec is k theta minus one is equal to ten is k theta. Or if you take out the square, ten is k theta is ten theta is equal to what? Sec is root over sec is k theta minus one. Now for third identity uh, as number eleven cos is k theta minus cot is k theta is equal to one. These are these are means only relations from the only main identity is this number one number the second identity and this is third identity. Here also you can find out some cos is k theta equal to one plus cot is k theta. Then cos is k theta equal to root over one plus cot is k theta. Similarly, if you transfer one on the eleven side cos is k theta minus one is equal to cot is k theta or cot theta is equal to root over cos is k theta minus one. Actually, main identities are these are already told you. Okay, from this you will get this. Okay, when you will solve uh, problems using these relations, automatically it will be remembered. Okay. See this relation also. This relation already you know, but I want to rem uh, remind you again that sine theta reciprocal of what cosec. So you can write reciprocal of sine is cosec. So you can write sine theta is equal to one by cosec theta or cosec theta is equal to one by sine theta. Number eighteen cos theta you can write one by sec theta. Sec theta you can write one by cos theta because they are reciprocal to each other. Ten theta is equal to one by cot theta. You can write cot theta equal to one by ten theta. Also this one ten twenty two number ten theta is equal to this is serial num I have means serial number ten theta is equal to sin theta by cos theta. Then cot theta equal to what you can write cos theta by sin theta. Why cot theta is reciprocal of ten theta? Okay. So what do we got? See uh, first of all we have learned. Trigonometric ratio sin p by h this okay then these are cos after that we learn the trigonometric table then after that we learn uh, trigonometric ratios of complementary angles like sin 90 minus theta cos theta cos 90 minus theta sin theta these are okay after that we learn the what trigonometric identities and from that identities we can get these relations from these three identities and also these are the relation relation this one already you know. The reciprocal cos theta is reciprocal cos theta is reciprocal of sin theta. This is every time sin theta is equal to one by cos theta. I have given this one in serial order because it is easy to understanding now. Okay. So try to write. Uh, take means I want to say take two pages and first you write the ratios, the ratios. Then you write the trigonometric make the trigonometric table. Then write the what what is called this one uh, trigonometric ratios of complementary angles. After that. Write these relations. Then you write these relations. Means cos cos theta is equal to one by sec theta. And the reciprocal this here. Okay. After that you write this. Means in two pages you write these all relations. Then when you will uh, you are going to solve a problem, then you can use from this copy easily. Okay. First of all you have to uh, use the relations by looking from your copy only. But uh, uh, slowly, slowly, slowly it will be remembered. Okay. Don't forget that in exam you will not get these relations. You have to use means you have to remember this one. That is why I have told you write all the relations in one in uh, two or three pages. After that, whenever you are, you are going to solve a sum, see the relation and use it, and it will be automatically automatically by heart after one after five or six days. Okay. I hope all of you understood. So today I am not going to give you uh, homework from exercise 8.4 because I have not started till now. So in the next class I will start exercise 8.4 and uh, you, are, uh, you are having homework already I have given question number 2 and question number this one not question number this 2 and 3 to prove these two identities. Okay this is a real special homework. Okay so regarding these relations if you have any doubt or confusion please get back to me in the evening. Okay, and try to complete this homework. Thank you. Have a nice day.